A couple of bugs that I put in here, and there I put them in as bugs, and it's it's all goofy. One of the things we're going to do here is say you can look at all the prices, even if you can't afford anything, right? Here they all are. If I go to my buy quantity state, Quantity one. Hello, Graham. Hello. Fixing up the thing about buying things. Document highlights is currently unavailable due to an internal error. I believe you. Okay, okay, here we go. Well, that's very Japanese of you. Good, good job adopting the work ethic of the country in which you find yourself. Well done, sir. No, we're gonna trade. We're gonna look at bot purchases. Type five. You have zero. So I can at least see them, and then I go, okay, oxygen tank, how many? None. Okay, great. Okay, so that fixes that bug. Bug. I'm able to see the price list. I can't buy anything. I want to see the price list. Oh, good. My session expired. Thanks, Hack and Plan. You're the best. Okay, so now, this next bit, I want to keep the scanner inside. So right there, now I'm at the scanner, but I can go off the screen. And how are we going to do that? Yeah, we're working on the scanner. At the, actually, we're working on the scanner before we do signaling distress. Go for it, man. Okay, let's okay. 
let's go to our scanner state. All right. All right, so what if I did a thing here where I said, Uh, what do we call it? Move cursor. Okay. Return move cursor zero minus one. Okay. And give this a little delta thing so that I can. Yeah, I think this is going to be what I want it to be. Can generate that method now normally well, yeah, I think in this case I'm the I'm the scanner state I don't need to return a new state I can just return me Here. that's right we're gonna go Delta X, and we're going to go Delta Y. And then next X equals cursor X plus Delta X. Then next Y equals cursor Y plus Delta Y. Now, what I want to do here is I grab the board state. Okay, so let's pin this for a second. We're going to render the board. Model state, get location, right? X and next Y in next location is that. So if next location is not nothing and also next location, I think there's an exists, then we're going to do this. Otherwise return me. I don't have to do these maxes and whatever. I don't. I don't have to care about any of that. Next x, next y. I think this will do it. Let's find. So here we are, and I'm going to go to the scanner. It won't let me go outside of there. Nope. Okay, so that's no good. So I still have to have the check. But that's okay. Because I can, I can do this a little bit better. So here in board state, we go protected const minimum row equals my view rows by the two protected. Const maximum row equals two rows divided by two also. Protected const minimum column equals minus two columns divided by two. Protected const maximum column equals two columns divided by 
right here. We're going to put these things like so. So that they are more meaningful and I don't have to go in and look at um, Let's go. Oh, I can go somewhere else, and it's got a good. Na it's got a name. Names are names are super important. Check in the scanner state. And we're gonna math that clamp. That. That's my problem. Like so. I'll clamp it right there. Minimum row, maximum row. Alright, let's do it. something oh, oh what and where are we at Tell maximum talent. Okay, let's continue for a second. Break it again. Next x is zero, next y is zero. Now it's okay. The next location is that. Next location says it's a thing. So does it exist? It does. Yeah. Why is it, why am I not seeing things? Interesting and bizarre. So the thing that I added was clamping. It worked before the clamping. Let's remove the clamping. And see if it goes back to working. I don't understand here. Oh, my rendering is wrong. My rendering is wrong. Got it, so nothing wrong with the clamping. Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. It's my range. Uh, 
Yes, this is not. So, enumerable range doesn't go from here to here. It goes from here and goes this many. Yes. Can't go left, apparently. Let's let's try to go left. Ah, yes. The other left. There we go. sorts of things. Alright, now in order to complete the scanner state, what I need to do is show the statistics down down in this corner where the where the cursor is currently blinking. Okay. Fixed scanner state. Uh, cursor bounds. There I go. Go get them. So let's go take a look at the source code of the previous scanner state. So the previous scanner state, boss presentation states, in play, tactical scanner. That's where that goes. So we're rendering details. Rendering details. So we render the board. Now we're going to render. The, this is called rendering details. And how do we get to target location? Target location. The dim target location is the model state the location first and you know what that is such a better name and we're going to be called move target it's actually called move target in the other so yeah i had to go through the what do i call this it's a target. Okay, so it's a target location dot name. Care. It's okay. Well, let's let's just do UI right line. Um, and we'll go mood dot info. And your 
target location, that name. Oh, and then, well, now we have to. And then boom, actor equals target location actor. If actor is not nothing. The actor dot name. Let's take a look and see how that goes. So empty space, your ship. Mositi. Altruistic Commonwealth military vessel. Philosophical Philosopher's League military vessel, so we can go, all right. goes back to navigation so okay yeah that's I think I think I need to say what the um, yeah whatever I'm whatever I'm drawing here for the target location is a good idea as well Maybe I don't. You know what? Okay, we, we're at we're at we've got the thing. Scanner stays in there. Finish the scanner state. Okay, we're back to to actions, right? But you know what? The fuel and the and oxygen. I can put more than just percentages there. I can put the values if I want. I want to put a thing here saying scanner. Hello, sir. So it tells me scanner. So, do I hit escape in order to go to the scanner, or do I have to hit tab again? It tells me. I don't know. These are these are things that we'll worry about later. But I think in the oxygen and the fuel, it's going to actually say what the values are. Ninety-eight point five is normal. Well, ninety-eight point six is what we are taught is normal. 
Everybody varies a little bit. So it's one of those things where it could be a fever if your normal temperature is 97. It would be low grade. I would not be concerned about 98.5. But just in case you have a fever, here, here's some cowbell. <laughs> Prescribed you some cowbell. So we're going to go into our navigation state. Oh, it's actually just called mood.purple and nav screen. Interesting. Uh, we'll call you mood.purple. Oxygen. oxygen quantity and dot vessel oxygen maximum. We have a lot more room now for status y thing. Trading post, cool. We're going to sell scrap or sell all of our scrap. We're going to buy fuel tanks. I think I do four. Choose them. Ah, this, the, uh, this, they call this the love planet because it's called choose a mate. Choose a mate. It's a very, very popular romantic destination.
is Lufegi. So one of the things I want to be able to do, oh, look at this one, Oshivora Pasha Shaj. Oshivora Poshaj. It's a little awkward. We prefer going to choose a bit. I'm pretty sure they call it Oshab for, for short. Pretty sure. Luna Tujov. Tujov. Judadilaga. Judadil. I'm going to guess they call this one Judadil. <sighs> okay, well, we're getting getting low on on things. So we say actions. Inventory, oxygen tank, and use. Okay. Ooh, my navigation screen got done. Sweet. Out of two, wait a second. I still have two fuel. Hmm. So wait a minute. Does it stop me when I'm at zero fuel? That's that's not okay. That is totally not okay. Go into the model, and what happens? Oh boy! Oh, oh, that's right. I made a super complicated game. Who put all this complicated stuff here? What? Actor? Oh, avatar? Herbs? How do you do this? Hooky, hooky. Okay, so in the navigation state, there's a move left state. What's the move left state do? Okay, do verb state. All right, so how do we do verbs? Perform the verb. We go here. The I avatar verbs model. going to perform a verb we go to the okay we go to the verb type descriptor so we go here into types we find the verbs we find the verb types move verbs uh, of course goes to move all right Okay, 
So do fuel consumption. Yeah, because I should get this message right here. Okay. Column, next row, get location. If that's there, can I enter the location? So we say, eh. Oh, okay. So at some point along the way, um, where's my, okay, verb types, verb type mode. Wait, can move. Ah. And there it is. If there is no fuel tank or else it's not fuel percent. Is that one a question mark? It is. There it is. Fuel quantity. So, there it is. Found it. Oh, I'm, I'm now at a break point. Go me. Look at all this delightful scrap. Does this have a trading post? It does. Let's go. Sell all my scrap. All of it. Yes. Let's buy. Well, we'll buy. We'll buy three of these. And we'll buy as many as we can of those. Tells me I've got a visit. I do. Okay. Don't tell me I have a visit count. I'm um, just a scrapper, scrapping some scrap. fuel rods so that we're trading post should tell me how much money I have
Okay. okay so now we go here, and we should be able to get all the way down out of fuel. So the out of fuel should give me... There's actually more stuff here. All black, but mark. Can't can't see it, but it's there. Uh, we'll call you you light gray. Space, enter from the screen, then you choose the stress signal. There we go. And that's how we're going to do that. And we'll try this out again. Scrapping, I'm scrapping, scrapping, scrapping. Scrapping, I'm scrapping, I'm scrapping all day long. We have a trading post. All of them. And we're going to buy four of each. Okay, nope. Nope, I want specific number four. Yes. Maximum four. Yes. There we go. Okay. Orbit. Leave planet vicinity. Say inventory oxygen tank use. Okay. We're gonna run ourselves out of fuel. We'll go here into the wormhole nexus. Here either. Okay, so good. You're out of fuel to send a distress signal. Press space enter from the nav screen, then choose distress signal. Okay. So I say distress signal. Signal distress. Okay, inject that cat. Does some nothing. I've been new chofu. Okay, well, let's get that thing working because that should not be too awful.
herbs. Oh, hey, neat. Um, so, so wait a second. I'm in my action menu state. Type status verb type inventory. Um, uh, there's a do verb state that takes a choice, I think, right? I don't know that that should just work. Yeah, that should, that should just work. Other than the Splorpedia, because the Splorpedia isn't really a verb. Splorpedia is a, hey, a signal to the UI. So Splorpedia does nothing. True does nothing. Status does a thing. And we'll say inventory oxygen tank is okay. Well, that one's far out there. say signal distress okay so we have emergency refuel does it refuel it does Eek. I do need for those verb types to but it does work so I can signal distress can't select the crew member and I can't select the vessel. Those, those are two things that are different. But I might be ditching those things anyway. No. Okay. I can do other um, verbs from the action menu. Yes, I can. I can do that. So go me.
Okay. So the Splurge community, okay. So I may completely be ditching the select crew member and select vessel as a thing. If I'm, it's a very big direction to choose for the for the game as a whole. So in this, so here's here's the big question in this game. So the decision point, and I so I need I need to make the decision. In this game, do you always just control your ship, or do you sometimes control a crew member and go and do things? Retro? Oh no, not a retro. So there's a lot to this decision of crew member or not. In a way, it's it's simpler and allow okay. Alright. Hard to do. Okay, so we're going we're going to we're going to employ the advice of our friend Balboa. Because Balboa can help us decide. Consult Balboa. This is Balboa, everybody. Let's see if we got it. The thing is, here's here's Balboa. This is a uh, Panamanian quarter. So, so heads. So Balboa's face means that we're going to, at least for now, keep the mechanism whereby I can switch from my ship to the crew member on the ship, even though right now that's not built out very much, and that's actually a lot of stuff to build out later and make compelling content. You know what? Thanks, Balboa. So what Balboa is what Balboa's helping me do is think about What what do we have to do in order to have compelling content? And right now the crew member, all you can do is you go to the crew member and he, he go, you go in there and you can wander around in a very small space. Which could be fun in a, in a larger, gigantically scoped game. But you look at the things that I have that don't really do much. Like, here's a military vessel. Can't fight them yet. I'm only just now getting to the point where, because once, once I've moved all this over, uh, the next thing to implement is the ability to upgrade your fuel tank and the ability to upgrade your oxygen tank, right? So let's let's have it, Balboa. Heads we keep it, tails we don't. It's heads, and we keep it. So as ridiculous as it is, we keep it. Okay, well let's select the crew member and select the vessel. All right. Now what's the thing that has? So are we? Okay, we are good to go here. Okay, so here in the verbs, in our action, Okay. 
Oh, okay. All right. So in my choice, here's the action menu state. The action map goes to select crew member. So select crew member. Here that is. Okay. This this is how this gets done. So case, verb types. What's it called? It's called called crew. Return new select crew member state model UI and state. Okay, that's what we got. We're gonna make this thing generate that class. It is a base state. And we say, all right, make the abstract class and generate the constructor. Say UI clear, uh, then choice equals UI choose mood dot prompt. We call it select crew member. And what do we have? We've got model dot uh, state avatar vessel. Bell crew to array. Right, right. And now the choice is going to be an actor model. Great. And then we're going to push that and go to neutral. So model state avatar stack. Push choice and turn new neutral state model UI and state. So that should work. Okay, if we break, we broke. Okay, so 25. This is 25. Go to the glyph table. Yeah, we should probably go all the way up to. Ah, okay. All right, all right. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Okay, we're just gonna have like a We're just gonna have a bunch of little characters because we don't know what in the world. Hello, Internet Bird. I don't want them to be black necessarily. And 
actor glyphs. Hold on. Actor types, descriptors. Places. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. So location types? These are location types. Location types. One's two thirty. Huh. Okay, so there's there's bulkheads, there's also doors? Oh make door, okay. So twenty four, twenty five, so on and so forth. Use dark gray. Why well, yes, I am developing my own game. Yes, indeed. Where's my hue table? So it's going to go back up to base state. I find all the references to dark gray. called gray with an E, called gray with an E. What is 230 then? And that's totally, f that's interesting. So I should see some stuff here, but I don't. And this is all fine. So let's change something here. Let's make it also silver just for a second. No, let's not do that. Go to the board state. We're rendering the board, right? Rendering the board. Uh, we'll call you mood dot silver. No, mood dot light gray. So I know that shows up. Right. Uh, this game is all about the love of freedom. Okay, so this is correct. Not everybody does. Some people hate freedom. Everybody should love freedom, but not everybody does. Hmm. Does dark gray just not show up? <laughs> Choosing to work in Japan. Yes. Ah, okay. 
All right, all right. So I think, I think I get it. Okay, so dark gray does show up. Okay, so we're fine. My location types, every place where there's black, and is this the foreground color? Background, background. Is it a strategy game? No, it is a roguelike. So at the moment, this is the kind of thing that you can do in the roguelike. A uh, little at symbol, it's a, your, that's your ship. Ship, you use arrow keys, you can move around like so. These little, those little asterisks, those are uh, stars, so you can enter the star system. You say, I'm approaching the star system. Now in the star system, now those little O's are planets, and these little percent signs are bits of debris that you can salvage for scrap. And that's what you do. Well, it is. It's, it's uh, we'll say procedurally generated. This does not have a trading post. This has a trading post. So this, that little, this little glob in the middle, that's a planet. So we go to the orbit of the planet, and we go to this little T. And this T allows me to trade. So I can sell all my scrap. And then I can buy things like oxygen tanks. And now I've got some more. Now I've got some spare oxygen and some spare uh, fuel. So I can go and gather some more scrap. And that's the main thing you can do at this point. That's what I've accomplished. On this little do that little S looking doohickey, that's a that's a wormhole. No trading pulse. That's and it's it's meant to evoke that sort of vibe. All of it, yes. Got eighty three jewels. I can buy three of each. And right now I go to my inventory because my... Well, that's a guinea pig. It's really the guinea pig's channel, not mine. I just, I just, I just code in here. People are here for the guinea pig. Yeah, so did my kid. My kid didn't take care of it, so now I have a guinea pig that I put on my stream. It ran away. Yeah, it met its horrible death somewhere. That's that's how that's how these things often that's how those things often go. <laughs> the 
<laughs> it's true. Uh, we we did have two. We we had three hamsters at one point. Um, and the kids weren't terribly interested. So it was it was it was during during the lockdown time. So we went and got hamsters. Um, and we put them all in the cage, and there there were th so two of one of two of them. One of them we called Bitey, because that one would bite the other ones. Um, so we got a different little cage for, for Bitey, so Bitey wound up in, in their own little cage. Um, but then the other two, uh, one of them got hungry enough that they saw the other one as tasty. So then we had cannibal, cannibal hamster, and then um, the cannibal hamster. No, they did not. They did not get their freedom. No, they did not. And then eventually, Bitey died. So yes, it was having hamsters is mostly an opportunity to enjoy hamster death theater Well, actually, the you it you can't really tell because it's it rendered in ASCII. But the the type of being you are is a more or less human form um, guinea pig. So yes, you're a guinea pig. This is guinea pigs in space. Nothing in the game tells you this, of course. I'm out of fuel. Well, that's not true. So, uh, originally, see, at first, I was making this game this is what the game originally looked like as you can see the the Sigma logo is a guinea pig over there in the corner so this is you can actually you'll, you'll actually be able to see it's like oh all right yep that's pretty much that Same basic idea and different informations and whatever. But I realized, and I realized I hated, I hated monogame. I hated working on monogame things. So I said, I'm not going to do this in monogame anymore. I'm going to move it over to a terminal app. Yes. Mono game can bite me. I'm switching to terminal apps. Now, of course, a lot of, you know, most of most of my games being terminal app type things, right? So I do have you know, plenty of these games that are not, but plenty of games that are terminal apps. 
and I've I've stopped fighting. <laughs> yes, my core is absolutely separated from the rendering layer. It is. It is. So yes, no. I I have a middle. I have a. Um. You would you would see its architecture. Uh, you would you would say um, well, it is actually right here. Um, when I went ahead to do this, okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll speak briefly because here in the main, so here's the main branch which has the, the UI stuff in it, okay? So here's, here's source, I wanna, can I just, I wanna, let's collapse all the things, all right. So source, here we go. Um, F, F, FHOS, FOS, FHOS model is what you would call the business layer. Uh, persistence is the stuff that actually uh, stores it in its little in these little data things entities and whatnot so there's actually here's a data there's actually a data layer this is a business layer and this is a presentation layer right here this is the presentation layer uh, there's so when I when I switched it over I got rid of fhos.presentation and splore.presentation because splore.presentation, what it does is it deals with, and splore.ui. So splore.presentation and splore.ui, this is, this was mono game. So yoink, gone. Then I need fhos.presentation, which consumes that and does the rendering, right? Then you go over to the Spectre console branch. Oh, and it doesn't have it, so. So, fhos.model, still, most of these things are the same. Persistence is the same. fhos.presentation, this is um, the other things, and I made splore.presentation.spectre, where all this thing does is, where's our, Fhost.presentation. presentation. Now, oh, where are you? I would have I'd have to show it in here. Actually, yeah, you can see it literally anywhere. An IUI context, which is in splore.presentation. This is all that I need in order to render. So that's why I would. That's why I've been able to mostly replace my UI with a terminal app in in just a few days here, because I it's an N tier architecture, where N is three. So, no, it's, it's, here's, and here's the thing, all, all my architectures ever, all my architectures ever are, I'm going to make an N-tiered architecture. You can, you can call it, you can call it the onion, you can call it hexagonal. Uh, it's, it is N-tiered. There's a presentation layer, there's a persistence layer, there's a business layer. And what, and yeah, there might be adapters and ports. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, and then of course, uh, here in this thing, the thing that has program.vb. It just starts it. Go. And the same thing was true of the, 
uh, of the mono game version. Uh oh. Ooh. Look, look gl it, it's globby. It's it's blue circles with globs on it. Yeah, let's see what could be a thing like this. You would put an extra piece of metadata in the planet with a, I don't know, some sort of seed, whatever your procedural seed is, to generate that. You could just staple it, staple it to the planet. Uh, you've got your weathers. Yep. You can totally do any of that. And you just store seed. Uh, this planet has this seed. So there's more data that it would need in order to do things like that. But the, the thing is flexible enough that it could be done. Oh. And the funny thing is, you could write you could write the presentation layer in in C sharp, and just consume the VB stuff. It would all work. It would all just work. But for now, okay, you make that copy. You get it done. I think we have to make more copy pretty soon. All right, so I still need to know why when I go to my crew member, That's not being rendered as. Okay, well, let's get in here. Where's our board state? Oh, that's incorrect. Let's see. There we go. It was supposed to have dots this whole time. And actually, I like it better because it allows me to line stuff up visually. So I go here, Q, U. All right. That's all. Okay, so this should do, uh, where are we at? Menu, action menu. Okay, go. So 
vessel. Okay, so here we go. 11. Okay, we're gonna perform this, F2. Oh, it does nothing. Oh, all right. Well, oh, it can't, it can do nothing. So that's, yep. So it doesn't make sense to do that. Because, yes. So while I need to make that available, so case verb types vessel. Really, model state avatar stack pop return new neutral state model UI end state. So now I should. Yeah, so the underdeveloped idea here is that I go, all right. I want to go to my crew member. Here's my crew member. The little X is me. And I can do these things. And there might be some stuff I can do. This is this is this represents my little ship. Now if I'm docked somewhere, then I can go ahead and get this as a door. That's all it is. It's a door. Um, and I would go out if I land, if I, if I did a landing or something, we'll say, right. Then this would be connected to the surface of the planet where I can go and do some things severely underdeveloped because this is the only thing I can do. I can switch to this crew member. One of the things is, so it's, it's not great. It's not great. But we used our friend Balboa to say we're going to keep this mechanic at least for now. And I don't, I don't completely regret this. So now I need some more coffee. I do need more coffee. I mean, I may need to start making more coffee. Okay. Explorepedia we're going to leave for a little while. Yes, we're going to do stuff in doing stuff in space. Do it, 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 do it,
Coffee. Yeah, there's more coffee being made. So good. So we've done all of that. So then the actual So a few more a few more states exist. So there's a Stargate state. And we'll deal with that. And then the shipyard. And then we have some other things. We have a lot of more informational. Things. We have the saving and the loading and all the stuff. Scum save, scum load. So actually, okay. And so I'm not going to do start. I'm not going to start on Stargate right now. I'm going to do some of these less interesting states. Uh, vessel. So let's do saving and loading. How about we do that?
Right, right. Okay, so main menu. Main menu does this. Well, let's take a look at our at here and see what it looks like. Are we do we auto for scum load? Do we auto detect some stuff, right? So that, and that's actually in our boilerplate. Nope, not that. Or.ui. It's actually like some boilerplate stuff. Our menu has a main menu. Oh, there's a scum log. Scum load goes to the scum load main menu. Really? Oh, because it defers it. Okay. Thing where it stubs it out. States, space, embarkation. I have no idea. Where is this junk? Scum load main menu, right? Can I? Um, load state. Ow. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, okay. This is a little different. So this is handled in my in my context, which my Uh, this part this part of the context doesn't exist so in the context a UI there's a, a UI context okay so how this junk all worked in the other one so there's a UI context where we can say so this is model I have this as a model so T model is my universe model. Uh, these things, these are the things of, hey, I need to load a game, save a game, or does, does this slot exist? And these things are completely deferred abstractly to the presentation layer, I think. Presentation layer? No, it's actually FHOS. Okay, so this will, will require a bit of architecture work. Where does the context come from? So the FHOS, FHOS context. How am I going to decide to solve this problem?
Okay, so this does. So here's this stuff. Load slot comment, model dot load. There you go. Actually, this is this stuff is fine. This stuff right here. So I take this stuff and I make them extension methods. So let's say I take these three things and I make them extension methods on the model. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. So we need we grab that. We're going to make model extension methods in the presentation layer. Add a folder called extensions. Now we're going to add a module called universe model extension. The friend. These are not overrides. All right. So now uh, we make extension. And we'll just put it on the model, even though there's there's nothing for it. Okay, so you're going to be model as a universe model, like so. And even though model is not used here. So there it is. So I'm able to get this in here this way. So okay, so that'll that'll work, right? But in my presentation layer. Actually, it goes into splore.ui is where it was. Uses the boilerplate states. Here's in the menu. I've got the main menu. So scum load. Boilerplate scum load main menu. I want to look for this. Scum load main menu, scum load main menu, scum load state. All right. There's that one. Okay, so if it exists, then load the state and set it to neutral. We can do this. So though, we don't want, okay. 
right here. We don't want this. Okay, so dim uh, option. Uh, what do you call it? It's not can't be called choices because there is a choices here. Menu as new list of string from choices dot embark menu add range there. slot exists zero then menu add choices scum load perfect right so now only when that exists the case choices scum load Then we say model load game zero and uh, return new neutral state. Model UI me. So that can do a scum load. There is now also a load. Case choices load. Return new load state. Model UI me. So this is inherits base state. Make the thing, make the thing. All right, so now we go take a look at the load state. So oh, that's really all this is. Okay, so we do a hey, nothing exists. Wonderful. Oh, this does it very differently. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's we get. We'll say public. And keep in mind that, well, 
Yeah, you could go off the, I have not, there has been some changes to the model. I have two branches. I, I've got my Spectre console branch, uh, which is what I've, so all my stuff is in there. Yeah. There's not that much difference from main, but there's enough. Some things did, I did wind up having to fix some things. And eventually that becomes my main branch. Once I'm, once I'm done here, once I'm done with this work, then psh, mono game goes away. Available slots. So, available slots. Public. Uh, read only. Nope, it's going to be public function. Available slots. Model as I universe model. of integer. So we will return slot file name keys where does slot exist model uh, function x Does slot exist model X? We'll call you loadable slots. So there's that. It's, it's exactly the same. Dot net build. Exactly the same. There's no difference. It all works. But yeah, find me on the Discord. That's interesting. Do I? Let's check. Check out. We may we may have some things that are. I updated all those. So I'm at 8.04. Oh yeah, that's the main. Yeah, the thing that you're showing me here, that one's the main branch. The spot maker's gone and so on. Balls indeed. Yeah, 
so it's hiccuping. Yes, there are no problems on the well. I'm about to, I'm going to abandon the main branch. What am I supposed to complain about? Ah, sorry, sorry. You know what you can complain about? You can complain that other people, uh, other people don't. Well, that's what I should really do. Actually, what I'm seeing here. Hold on. Because actually. What it what it is is it's unacceptable for me to contact error. Let's what we got. Okay, okay so that builds okay. Uh, working towards loading. Let me put let me put some notes in here about what I should really do just in order to because that's so we we did I believe we haven't tested it so we're we're doing the saving and the scum saving and the loading here's my load okay we're gonna do this stuff this is the next stuff but what's unacceptable so okay I've now pushed all that stuff what I should really do here on my main branch. Has vulnerabilities. You're absolutely. I should not have. I should not have those, and that should not be checked in. So we're going to update those. Doesn't even offer a side of crash. What in the hell? You could publish fhos dot model. You could publish fhost.model and that should give you what you want. Vulnerable vuln vulnerabilities are vulnerable. Okay, so now the main branch doesn't have those because it's not cool to leave those. But now going back over to that if I said publish to a folder somewhere na, 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 na. make a new folder We're making, I'm making sure that this would work. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. Ah, but there's there's also a there's one more um, bit to it, which is um, there there's there's a there's a command line way.
when I do shipping it, right? There's a, oh, yeah, I don't, you can't, apparently you can't do that from the published thing in Visual Studio, but if you did the, did the command line, the minus P publish single file equals true. Like, no, yeah, without, that won't work because it's not the executable. Or I don't, I don't know that it will. So yeah, no, that's because, so the dot, the dot net, yeah. All right. All right, I got to get out of here. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. I'm, I'm interested to see if you actually managed to, to get something in there. And... <laughs> <laughs> doing doing stuff. Hey, we got we got Terry. Terry's here. Hey, everybody, it's Terry. He's getting he's getting started. So we're going to raid TBD Gamer, friend of ours, friend of the channel. I've I've known him since I've been streaming. We're gonna raid. A TBD gamer. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Thanks everybody so much for hanging out. And now let's get off. Let's, 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 let's,